welcome to the class of engineering drawing and today's topic is isometric scale so where we require the isometric scale isometric scale is required for drawing the isometric projections so whenever we draw the isometric projections we see that all the lengths are shortened how much they are shortened we get to know with the help of isometric scale so before going further i will tell you the difference between isometric view or isometric drawing we can say and another term is isometric projection there is actually my, uh, one point which you need to keep in mind that whenever we want to draw the isometric drawing or isometric view of any object we will use the true scale or the actual scale all the lens will remain as it is and when we want to draw the isometric projections of any object in the case of projections the lengths are shortened because the object is kept in such a manner that all the three surfaces are visible so all the lengths are shortened in case of projections so when we want to do the isometric projections of any object we will use the isometric scale so in the isometric scale all the lengths are shortened to 0.815 of true length any isometric length is shortened by this so if we want to find the isometric length of 10 cm how much 10 cm will be seen in the case of isometric projection so we will use this relationship it is 0.815 multiply by 10 so we will get 8.15 cm so 10 will be taken as this as isometric length now we will go to the method of drawing the isometric scale so now we will start with the construction of isometric scale for this we will draw a reference line first any horizontal line and from this line we will draw two angles one at 30 degree and 45 degree 30 degree and 45 degree so i will join the line with the end point <coughs> this is 45 degree line and then again joining the end point with the 30 degree line <coughs> 30 degree line after then next is on the 45 degree line we will mark the true scale on it true scale this markings are these so i'm marking this on the 45 degree line just i'm adjusting 2 3 4 
So I will uh, mark these markings. One, make it little prominent, and number them. I will write the numbers: one, two, three, four, five. सेकेंड लाइन डिग्री लाइन सो इन दिस वे वी हैव ड्रॉन ऑल द पेंडिकुलर्स ऑन थर्टी डिग्री लाइन So we'll number them. Say I will number them as one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, five dash, six dash, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So uh, I have just uh, changed their designation just to make the difference between the two. So this. top line on the 45 degree angle it is showing us the true scale or the actual scale which is 1 ratio 1 and this second line on 30 di 30 degree angle the markings are showing us the isometric scale which are lesser than the true scale markings so this scale is reduced than the true scale so we will take the markings on the iso scale for drawing the isometric projections and whenever we want to draw the isometric view or isometric drawing then we will take the measures of true scale only thank you very much